Folks, we are back at it live here on TikTok. My name is Brendan. Again, I'm coming at you live from Chicago here at Atlas Stationers. How we all doing? Happy Tuesday. We're doing a morning live today just because we've got a lot to show. Uh, additionally, you know, we normally go live at 3 p.m. Central Time on Tuesdays, but I will be taking over for Alvin, who is not available for the live video today. So we will uh, be posting this online as well as do our best to showcase the new products as good as he does. Very stiff competition, he knows his stuff. So uh, we'll see if I'm able to show off what we have. Uh, how we all doing though, how we all doing? Welcome, welcome. Cool, we got a lot of people packing in here already, that's good stuff. So uh, for those of you who took advantage of our Halloween promotion, thank you so much, we're glad that you got your orders in. Um, we don't have any discount code live currently, um, except TikTok for extra 10% off your order. Some exclusions may apply, so feel free to go on our website, atlasstationers.com, and type that code in at checkout for the promo. Uh, some big announcements, we've got Fountain Pen Day coming up this Friday. The founder of the holiday, Kerry of Kenro, is flying out here from New York to our retail store. He will be here Friday and Saturday during hours of operation. We'll be hosting in-store giveaways, exclusive promotions, and play games and challenges. But the good news is you don't have to be here in store. If you can't make it, we'll also play some additional games and giveaways online. So how are we all doing today? How are we all doing? Who's ready to see some products? Uh, I did pull one of the most expensive pens that we carry to showcase. Um, I know that a lot of you guys enjoy seeing the super high-end stuff, so we'll make sure to show that off today. But what's up, what's up? All right, so if you have any questions about the events, let me know, otherwise make sure you tune in this Friday and Saturday uh, for Fountain Pen Day. Uh, let's jump right in. I'm gonna flip the camera and start showing off some of these pieces. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to go through. You see, I got a huge setup today. I mean, look at all this stuff. Um, I'm just gonna grab pens and we'll probably start reviewing the products um, from low to high price point. I think that's a, a good idea here uh, just because I have so much. That's what we're gonna show off later. That's the super big one. Uh, but yeah, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna show off the new models. Um, on Tuesdays with Elvin, he does a phenomenal job again explaining the details and the ideas behind the models. So we'll do our best to provide as good of a presentation today. Uh, but this is the brand new Twisby Eco Glow Purple. Um, this is $32. It is the successor to the Twisby Glow Green. One of the best entry level pens out there. Great, great value. Uh, this one will glow green. This one actually glows blue. I don't really have a way to show you, but um, there's photos online. This will glow blue. Um, nib sizes are gonna be extra fine through 1.1 millimeter stub. Uh, it features an internal piston mechanism right there. By the way, if you have any questions at all, folks, just holler at me, okay? Be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, ink capacity is probably about like two milliliters, I'd say. I'm sure there's an exact number out there, but this holds substantially more ink than other fine writing instruments that use converters. Uh, next up, we just posted a video. We've got the Bainu Skull and Roses. This was a super popular release. Um, there is one more model, a part of this collection that we already sold out with the fountain pen, so we're hoping to get more in, but fear not, you have two other options available. You've got the Red Rose, and then you've got the Crows. So I believe this one's the rollerball model. So it's a really fun resin acrylic. Uh, the pattern on here is actually like embossed outwards or debossed, whatever the proper term is. So basically you have the skulls on the band and then the remainder of the cap and barrel is actually a set of roses. You see the thorns as well, the leaves. How fun is that? So you can do the all red rose or you can do the all black crows. These pens are really cool. Um, some noticeable features are going to be the Schmidt steel nib. I believe you can do extra fine through broad, I want to say, off the top of my head. Uh, you unscrew the barrel from the grip section, and you get a converter, standard international. So any standard international cartridge or converter will fit inside this pen. Uh, please keep in mind, for all of you who like to post the cap on the back of your pen, this pen is not postable. Um, you know, it, it kind of interferes with the design on the barrel. So you can't post this one, but that's totally okay. You don't need to. That's a very well-balanced pen. So I think it's a 
a cool release. Uh, fountain pens and roller balls. Smolder was all black, except it had a red band of skulls, and then the interior had a red grip section. It was kind of a hybrid between the two. But again, yeah, we sold out of it currently, so you know we'll we'll look to hopefully get more in. Beautiful. Uh, next up, we've got the Joya. You know what's so funny? This wasn't even the one I meant to grab, but this is real pretty. I talked about the new Alba yesterday. Uh, you can get all these on our website. So for those of you who don't know, we're a fine writing and stationery shop in downtown Chicago. We've got a retail store and a wonderful website that's easily accessible and very consumer friendly. Uh, we've been around or been around in business since 1939. So great grandfather started our company many moons ago. We're currently in the 83rd year of business. So we appreciate all your support and we appreciate the love. Yeah, atlasstationers.com. There's a link in our bio, link in our bio for sure. Um, well, this is a cool one. This is the, the Bella Vista. This is a newer model, not the newest one I wanted to show, but this is from Joya, which is an Italian brand, beautiful resin, uh, beautiful band as well. Um, what you'll notice is that the swirls on here are gonna be unique. So if I lined up three pens of this exact model, they will have a slightly different finish just because of the unique resin blend involved. Um, this one's an internal piston filler back here. You got a really cool ink window that's lined up with some gold hardware. Beautiful touch, the classic steel or gold plated steel stamped nib. I like these a lot. These are solid pens. Uh, we do carry Leonardo. Yep. We do carry Leonardo for sure. Great brand. This one is not Leonardo. This is a competitor to Leonardo though. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind, a little more of a non-traditional detail is the threads are actually at the front of the grip section near the nib rather than back here. It's a little bit more unique uh, in a sense to see that, which I kind of like it because then the threads kind of act as like a ridge. So if, if I feel my hand slipping, I'll feel the threads, meaning the pen's kind of slipping out of my hand. Oh, wow, this is so much better. I don't know why I was so zoomed in. I'm sorry, guys. I was like taking up the whole screen like this, like the pen was out, but this is much better. Uh, these should post. Do these post? Yeah, they do. That's going to really extend the overall length of the pen. I personally wouldn't post this pen just because I think it is a fair length and weight as is, but some of y'all don't want to lose the cap, so you post it. No problem at all. Just be careful when you're posting internal piston filling pens because like you see the caps on there, but if I'm wiggling this, I'm I'm manipulating the piston and you don't want to do that if there's a ton of ink in here because it'll start dripping out, right? So I always put a thumb here, apply some leverage, you are good to go. Yeah, Joya is a, a pretty cool word. It's a pretty cool word. Um, it's, it's unique. I, I definitely wouldn't have guessed Joya when I first saw the word either. I agree. Uh, this one's retailing at 263. The Benue Skull and Roses, by the way, I think are like 100. I don't know, if somebody can double check the price, that'd be great. Um, what is that? It's beautiful. Which one? These are the Skull and Roses from Benue. This is the Joya Bella Vista. All available on our website. Benue is 163. Thank you, Chicago Pen VP. Let's just see something real quick. I mean, if you really wanted to get saucy, check that out. Okay, that's low key fire. That's fire. Might have to get both of them just to do that little mix up. All right, anyone have any questions before we move on? Hang tight real quick. I'm gonna grab one more pen real quick. Two pens actually, hold up.
Folks, I appreciate your patience. We are back. How we doing? Thank you for sharing the live videos. Sorry, I was just grabbing some other pens. So this was the, the new Joya that I was trying to show you, but as you can see, I accidentally grabbed the Bella Vista. Um, this right here is the Joya Alba. It's the part and note model. So the hardware is a little bit different. Um, you have a little bit more metal involved. So this pen is slightly heavier, um, but the resin on this is just gorgeous. Uh, it is gonna be a cartridge converter. Congrats on 100K. Jacob, thanks, my friend. Really good to see you here. Yeah, what a fun journey it's been so far. So thank you everyone who has shown some love and got us to over 100,000 followers. It's been a heck of a ride so far this year. Uh, but yeah, you got a nice steel nib. Uh, this actually is a converter. I wonder, you know, it had that long adapter. Yep, I knew it. So this piece unscrews as well. So let me show you what's going on here. So this pen is unique in a sense that they put an adapter on their converter, which is uh, like an extension. The reason why they do that is because you see how it protrudes out the back of the barrel. The whole purpose of that is so you can fill up this pen without actually unscrewing the barrel. Incredibly unique. Does it save time? Sure. But I think they just did that so you have the option. So it's kind of like an internal filling mechanism or it's a cartridge converter fill, whatever you want to do. And then you just put the blind cap right back on there. Yeah, this is a sweet, sweet finish. One of my favorites. I mean, look at the purple and the yellow. I mean, you guys, come on. This is a sweet pen. Which one's been your favorite so far, guys? Someone can look up the price of this. That'd be great too. I want to say this is like 200. This almost looks hand painted. That's how beautiful it looks. Thank you for sharing the live. Thanks for all the likes too, guys. The blue one looks almost like the M100 Stone Garden. A little bit, yeah, the Stone Garden has a similar colorway for sure. Yeah, that's a great pen, the Stone Garden, my favorite. Anyways, this is the Joya Part Note. One last thing I should let you know about is um, you can actually turn this pen into a roller ball. So they actually include a roller ball point, like a grip section and refill. So all you do is you unscrew the fountain pen part and you screw in the roller ball and then you basically have two pens. It's a roller ball and a fountain pen. So for those of you who are looking to get a gift, but you don't know if the gifty is into fountain pens, this pen will be perfect because then they can try out the fountain pen. If they don't like it, they just resort to the roller ball, which most people use anyways. So I really like the functionality aspect of that. So. Again, brand new model, um, available in fine and medium nibs. There's the nib for you. Sorry if there's loud noise in the background, it's the L train. For those of you just joining, welcome. We are a family run, family owned, fine writing and stationery shop in downtown Chicago. Been in business since 1939. We're just showing off some cool new products. There is actually an international holiday coming up, Fountain Pen Day, which we celebrate on the first Friday of November, so that's this Friday, November 4th, we will be hosting a lot of uh, giveaways, a lot of promotions. We'll play some games and challenges in store and online. So make sure you stay up to date and get ready to have some fun this Friday. All right, so we got these ones. So which ones do you guys like so far? We showed off the glow in the dark Twisbees, $30 pens. We showed off the Benu Skull and Roses, $160 pens. And we showed off the Joya Part and Open Bella Vista about 250. We'll say 250. Which one's your favorite? As you guys comment and decide that, I'm gonna start the new one. Yeah, 160 for these is a pretty good price. These are so fire. We sold out of the, the Smolder model right away. So again, we're trying to get more. People have been uh, reaching out to us asking to get more. You love the glow in the dark green? Yeah, again, for $30 for this high quality of a fountain pen, it's a deal. This pen is awesome. This is like, this is the pen that's responsible for a lot of people getting into the fine writing world. If you've never owned a fountain pen, try the Twisby Eco first. 
go on our TikTok page. There's a getting started video as well as a getting started link in our bio. And it'll take you to our, a page on our website where we sell these. This is a great first pen to own. This is like the one that you can rely on to really get the full experience. And then you're gonna like it so much that like, okay, $30 for a pen, that's quite a bit, right? But then you're gonna realize how much better of an experience it is writing with a good pen. Then you'll move up to the $160 pen. Then you'll move up to the $250 pen. So highly recommend you start with the Twisbees. These pens are so fire. And these are special releases. They run these colors, the colored ones for a certain amount of time, and then they discontinue them. And then you have to buy them secondhand. So take advantage. All right, now let's move on to one of my favorite pen brands that we recently picked up. This is arguably the most beautiful collection of pens that we have in the shop. Twisby is the ultimate gateway. Uh, yes, Bumblebee, that's exactly what I was trying to say. I guess I didn't phrase it as good as you. Yes, this is the gateway pen for sure. Called the Twisby Eco. All right, who's ready to see some of my favorite pens? Because these are so pretty. I'm telling you, when you guys see these, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's a pen. Who's ready? Someone throw in the chat that they're ready. Let's go. Oh, and then also what's really cool as well is I pulled aside a lot of our exclusive pens. So pens that you can only find here at Atlas, whether we designed them or whether, uh, you know, we worked with a retailer or I'm sorry, a, a vendor to design them. So I've got a ton of those like Chicago themed pens, things like that. Let's go. All right. Appreciate y'all. All right. Let me push these to the back. So this right here is a company called Heinz Pens. It's all made in the U.S. They are a, a local pen maker, well, local to Texas. They're located in Texas. All of these right here are gonna be complete custom resin blends with many different colors. These pens are so fire. I mean, just look at that. This one's the brand new one we just brought in, the Winter Sunset, but check this out. Here's where we get funky. Ready? As I unscrew it, you're gonna see something that'll blow your mind. This is a unique trait, a unique characteristic that only these pens currently have, minus like one or two others out there in the world. They anodize their nibs. They anodize their nibs to match the pen. So when we order these, we can select which color nibs that we wanna put on these, right? So this is the new winter sunset. I wanted to create some contrast, so I went with the green, blue, and aquamarine. This is so fire. If you really zoom in, um, I don't have the full light set up right now, but these pens do shimmer a lot. Yeah, this is so fire. These ones are gonna be about 225. They make these upon order. So what that means is, you know, when we're ready to submit an order, it takes some time to actually turn these pens. And what I mean by that is uh, Jim Hines, the owner of Hines Pen Company, um, his partner is actually Starry Night Resins, and she's the one who blends all the colorways to get most of these pen blinks, right? And then what happens is she creates rods. So imagine super long pen blinks like this. Uh, I don't know how long they are, maybe, you know, maybe like that or like that. And then she'll give them to Jim and then Jim will put it on a lathe, right? So imagine a piece that clamps the pen and then a machine that spins it and he sets the diameter and then it chisels off, right? So on the, the, the thinner side, the chisel is inwards more, right? On the larger side, the chisel is outwards. And that's how they create the different dimensions of the pen. But what's beautiful about this is once the process is finished, they polish it off, etc. But no two pens will be the same because they wanna incorporate a certain percentage of color. So let's say this one, the Phoenix. This pen is fire, this is new to us as well. You know, it's a rainbow pen, look at this nib. Oh my God, that's so fire. This is a crispy pen, all these are super crispy. Not even crispy, these are saucy. So. With a pen like this, right, let's say that they, the color scheme is, you know, 10% blue, 10% purple, 20% green, 10% red, et cetera, up to 100%. They'll pour that amount of color into the resin blend and then kind of mix it up and create these swirls and different dimensions of the colors that you see here. And so if I were to pull another one of these out, maybe it has more green, maybe it has more red, maybe it has more black. So it's super cool to see which ones we get because it makes them all unique. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bro. That's hilarious. That means, that means we're doing a good job here. But these pens are super fire. Um, these are the B24 models. If you just go on our website, Heinz Pens Company, under the, like, the brand tab, or just type in Heinz, H-I-N-Z-E, you'll be able to find all these pens. I think we're the first retailer 
to have them. So we've been doing really good business with them. Such a joy to work with. This one is straight heat. Look at this. This is the Mercurial Mermaid. I mean, come on. This pen is so good. Which one do you guys like the most? I like this one. They did a phenomenal job on the on the white resin. I mean, it even has so much depth to it. Yeah, I agree. This one's sharp. This one's sharp. And then lastly, um, we've got a restock of the autumn leaves. This one's going to be a little bit more expensive because this is diamond cast material. It came from someone else outside of Starry Night Resins, but it's diamond dust inside the pen. So, and it has a clip. Some of them we put clips on them, others we didn't. So like all the Mercurial Mermaids will have a clip. All the uh, uh, Autumn Leaves will have a clip. These ones will not. So you don't have the option to pick. It's just we, we decided to bring some models in with the clip and the rest without. Yeah, so these will take standard international cartridge converter. Oh, look at that. The orange nib. Hurricane, thanks for the follow. So standard international cartridge converter. They actually have a TikTok, you guys. Go follow them on TikTok. They've been posting some videos of them like laser imprinting the nibs with their logo. It's kind of sick. I think it's just Heinz pens. Yeah, big fan of these. And I'm just overwhelmed with the color scheme. It just looks like every color is in perfect position. Um, do they post? Yeah, they post. Um, kind of an interesting post. Like they don't post down that far, so I'm not sure if the intention was to make them postable or not. See how it only protrudes like, you know, two inches down, not even. So I would probably say don't post this pen. I would not post this pen. All right, we're gonna hold these up. Let us know in the comments which one you like. I'm gonna go through and name them all real quickly. Here we go. We've got the Winter Sunset, the Phoenix, the Mercurial Mermaid, or the Autumn Leaves. Which one is your favorite? For those of you watching on YouTube, because we will post this video on YouTube, let us know which one you like the most. Comment below. I'm interested to see. I'm pretty sure you can put polls on here, but I don't know how to do that. Let me see what Interact is. Oh yeah, you can. That's crazy. Which one do we like the most? The Mermaid, Phoenix, Autumn Leaves, Winter Sunset. How funny is that? The first four comments were all different pens and that's the beauty of Heinz Pen Company is they got something for everyone. That's why I love them. Because the colorways are so unique and, and the different palettes available. Like the Autumn Leaves, which is this one, is a nice mix of warmer and cooler colors. Um, the, the Winter Sunset is a mix of cooler colors. So, and there's a whole lot more. Do you guys want to see the other ones? Is it worth going to get the tray? Yeah, they're about 225 each. 225 except this one might be 250. Is it worth getting the tray, you guys? I think we should get the tray. So I could show you the other ones. Get the tray. Nice. Yeah, so we cover you 30 days. Um, we'll cover you, but then most of the products we carry, the pens have at least a two year limited warranty. That means if it's a manufacturer's defect, you're pretty much covered. But you know, if you drop the pen and it shatters, that's user error. I'm sure there's something we can work out, but um, consumer based errors obviously won't be covered as much. All right, I'm gonna go get the tray. I'm gonna go get the tray. In the meantime, why don't you guys tell us where you're from? Let's see where the crowd's from today. Uh, does not come with a bottle of ink, but it comes with a cartridge. Um, comes with a converter as well for bottled ink. So if you want to use bottled ink, you just have to buy one separately. All right, I'll be right back. I'm getting the tray. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. All right, here we go. Dang, we got people from Detroit, Cali, Oregon, Chicago. Austin, you better visit. Better come through. Right up your, your neighborhood. Washington. 
That's awesome, you guys. We appreciate the support. How fun is that? We got people from all across the U.S. watching today. Again, we really appreciate the support. All right, so I'm going to put these back here real quickly um, to the side of the tray. And then we are going to show the other one. So we currently have nine models available, which is a pretty nice selection. All right. I'm picking up my order tomorrow, actually. Awesome. Well, yeah, you know, come find me. My name is Brendan. Love to say what's up. So the most popular one we've ever had was actually the Magic Mermaid. So the Magic Mermaid did so well. That's why we decided to bring in the Mercurial Mermaid. You'll notice it's a very similar pen, just different colorway up top. This one sold out right away on the first batch that we brought in. Um, it's basically a really nice white barrel with a blend of purple and black. Ooh, that nib is so saucy. I mean, this one's straight gas for sure. How do we like this one? All right. I got to ask the question. Do you like the, the Magic Mermaid more, which is this one, the left one, or the Mercurial Mermaid? You can say purple or green. Simplicity is so attractive. I agree. I definitely agree. You get enough color pop, right, where it's not overwhelming, but you have enough color to where it's tasteful. Green, awesome, good. Well, I'm happy we brought this one in then. Yeah, how about I uncap them? Let's see. Everyone tuning in, welcome. We're a fine writing and stationery shop in downtown Chicago, family owned since 1939. I mean, the colored nibs just really seal the deal. I mean, I don't understand how anyone could look at these and be like, nah, those aren't beautiful because these are just so fire. Do you have orange? So uh, I don't know if they make a, a model with the white and the orange, like a part of the mermaid series, but the orange that we have, I'll show you as we keep working our way through. Green reminds you of a royal for some reason. What do you mean a royal? Like, like a royal kingdom? A royal blue? Oh, this one goes over here. All right, so the orange one we have is gonna be the autumn leaves with the orange nib. Complements it very well. <laughs> Good ganja, that's absolutely hilarious. That's so funny. We might have to make a TikTok about that. That's goofy. I really like that. Yeah, you got to be careful. What's hidden underneath the caps are just so beautiful. Um, and then we also have the Arabian Nights. This one, instead of the, the colors being blended all together, they kind of appropriated them in a way like that they're segmented. So like yellow, fuchsia into purple. So it blends downwards, but it's not... It's not mixed like you see in this one. Uh, all of these are about 225. 225. This one, the um, autumn leaves is a little bit more, maybe 250. But yeah, uh, no. The, well, I mean, expensive is is relative, right? To to person. Um, I have a super expensive one right here. This is the one that I was going to showcase today. So I'll show this one later. We're saving that one for last. Um, yeah, 225 on these. This one, we did a fuchsia nib. Yeah, this is so pretty. Uh, what else we got? We got the Uncle Kenny. The Uncle Kenny is really nice as well. Similar to the Arabian Nights, the blend is a little bit more streaky, if you will. Not blended together, but kind of segmented in which they own like each color has their own space on the pen the uncle kenny's one of my favorites who buys these anyone can buy these um you know the goal of being on tiktok and social media is to spread the word about the fine writing community and get more people involved i promise you when you when you write with one of these you'll realize the writing experience can be so much more pleasurable than writing with, you know, pens that you typically see people write with. Um, but yeah, a lot of people do. Um, rich people, I guess, but you know, like these pens are $30, which is, you know, relatively speaking towards 
you know, a, a $3 like Pilot G2, yeah, it's more expensive, but these relative to this are not expensive. So, you know, it's all relative. Um, I'd recommend starting with an entry level pen like the Twisby Ecos or the Lamy Safari, which somebody just mentioned in the chat. $30, just make the investment, take care of the pen, and I guarantee you, you have a lot more fun writing with the, the fountain pens than your, your daily pens. And then in addition to, you can kind of start a new hobby. You can collect a little bit. If you look up, well, you can't really see, but this whole aisle right there, like right in front of that, that chair, that's a full aisle of ink. We have 650 different inks on display. So then you can choose whatever inks you want. You can match the pen to the inks. It's fun. Yeah, you can use the cartridges. You just ordered the green one? Well, thanks for the support. If we wanted a pen from this brand, do we order through you? Oh yeah, yeah, so we have all this stuff on our website. Yeah, please, please check it out. Just go go to our website, um, atlasstationers.com, and then go to the brands and just find like Heinz Pen Co or Twisby. Um, we also have Getting Started Collections. You know, we, we don't want you to join the community and just buy the most expensive pen. We want you to figure out what you like. That's the goal. It's like watches. Pens are an extension of your personality, you know? But yeah, these are marketed to a bunch of different people, right? Like this $7,500 pen, this is definitely marketed to a different clientele than this $200 pen and this $30 pen, right? So it's like all things, you know, look at cars. There's cheaper cars, there's more expensive cars. Um, the last one, I, or two I gotta show is the Mysterious Mermaid. This one is a purple and black blend. We just went with the stainless steel color nib, kept it simple. This one's pretty too. And then we've got a little exclusive one. This is like an Atlas exclusive build right here. The Blue Storm with a black nib and a black clip. This one's fire. I actually have this one. So, yeah, this one's sweet. I'm a big fan of this. So if you want to be like me, check this pen out. Pretty fun. They actually uh, gifted me a pen to kind of check out their brand and this was the one that uh, they sent and I love it. All right, so let's move into some exclusive products. So I'm imagining my brother's up here grabbing something new that we might show off here. Um, but anyway, so that was kind of some newer products that we wanted to showcase. But I also did grab some exclusives for us uh, that we've designed or we've helped, uh, you know, the manufacturers design um, in which you can only purchase the products here. So a lot of these are going to be Chicago themed uh, because we're located in downtown Chicago. You know, we're in a, a big institution, a big historic building. So these you can only pick up from us. So let's start with the Retro 51. So we did three designs already. Uh, each star on the Chicago flag is representative of a major historic event in Chicago. Um, this one is the Columbian Exposition. It's the successor to the Great Chicago Fire and the um, Century of Progress that we already did. So this is about $56, limited to 500 pieces worldwide. You can only get this here. This is one of the smoothest writing rollerball pens you can find. So if you are a Chicago fan, Check this out. You'll see it's got the six sided star. Oh, perfect. Okay, six sided star right there on the finial. Um, the other two had the exact same finial to establish that it's in the same collection. Um, we also followed through with the, the brass antique hardware to really give off that look of it being a historic event. So for those of you who don't know, Chicago held the World's Fair. It was designated to be in Chicago, I think in like 1833? 1833 maybe? I can't remember, one of those two. Was that, what, what year was the fair, 1833? Uh, 93. 19, 1893. Okay, there you go, 1893. So that was when the, the big event was held in Chicago. Um, the introduction of the Ferris wheel, PBR beer, um, was all introduced at that fair. So, uh, Basically, the history of Chicago is directly involved with that fair. Um, the Century of Progress was the celebration of Chicago's 100th anniversary of being founded. So you're celebrating the centennial. That was the first one we did. Then the Great Chicago Fire, which happened 
the 1800s burned down literally almost everything in Chicago. Um, a lot of people lost their homes, and the myth was that Miss O'Leary's cow kicked over the, the lantern to start the fire. Everything here was built out of wood, so a ton of it burned down. Uh, and then that was when the production of uh, metals were ramped up to really build the, the skyscrapers you see now. And then so, yeah, we got one more Fort Dearborn coming out. So if you're interested, you'll have to find the Great Chicago Fire and the Century of Progress on eBay or some secondhand seller because we're sold out. And we don't have any more. This one you can get from us. And then the fourth one we anticipate uh, hopefully releasing the next six months to a year. We're still designing it. That's going to be Fort Dearborn, the last one of the collection. All right, let me flip the camera again. Let me put it down a little bit. So you'll see it's got really nice gold foil on here. This design is, is really fun. There's the Ferris wheel. So it just commemorates the World's Fair that was designated in Chicago. Love Chicago. Beetlejuice got to go, though. All right, take care, good ganja. Can we get a store tour soon? Yes, we can. Highly recommend Atlas, thank you, thank you. Uh, payday not till Friday. <laughs> well, payday's coming up. Feel free to do some research on our website. All the listings will have photos and information. So that is the Retro 51, it comes in this really cool tube. Big fan of this pen. Oh yeah, 1893, there you go. 27 million people visited Chicago. That's crazy. Yeah. Cool. If you guys have any questions about anything I'm showing, just let me know. Um, next up is a, a simpler model. This is the Lamy Chicago Glacier. Um, we saw that Lamy had the leftover materials from their Glacier Studio. So we were thinking like, wait a minute, that matches the Chicago flag blue very, very accurately. So what did we do? We decided to put the Chicago Stars right there, which is a nice touch on the cap. This one is pretty limited, and pretty soon Lamy is going to run out of this blue material, which means we won't be able to make any more of these. So huge fan of these. This is going for $99. This is kind of the next step up from an entry-level pen. For those of you who have the Safari, this would be the next step for you. It's got the propeller clip, very modern physique to it. Love it comes with a cartridge and a converter. I don't think it's in the pen. I think it's in the box. Yeah. Want to see the most expensive pen you have there? We'll show you soon. We'll show you soon. But yeah, this one's awesome. I love the simplicity of it. Okay. And then we've got... we got a lot of stuff here, folks. We're really showing you everything. All right, this one we've gotten great responses from. This is the Chicago Voyage from Narwhal. So Narwhal created some Voyage pens, which is the name of this model, and they created four different cities lo or locations, if you will. They did New York, New Orleans, and Shanghai, and then the Chicago Voyage. So this one you can only get from us. It's $150. It's going to have rose gold hardware, internal piston filling mechanism. The blend of Chicago colors is so fire. Yeah, this is so fire. The Chicago Voyage. My brother just got his doctorate and I want to get him something cool. He's a teacher from Chicago. I think a pen would be really, really fun. Congratulations to your brother. That's a big achievement, big milestone. That's too much for a pen. Maybe it is for you, and I'm not gonna argue that. For others, maybe not. Bro, that's Detroit Pistons colored pen. I could say that this is colored for a lot of different franchises too, so totally get it. But this is actually the colors on the Chicago flag. Can we see how I write on paper? I'd love to see how it looks. Yeah, I'll do a writing sample shortly. But yeah, this pen is awesome. It's even got the narwhal stamped on the nib. Okay, a few more things to show you. And then we'll show the most expensive pen. So these are exclusives to us, but they're not Chicago themed. 
Detroit, Chicago. I'm not even going to argue with that because I'm sure uh, you know which city I prefer. But it's all good. This right here is an exclusive to us from Conklin. This is the Crescent Filler. So this is a heavy pen. If you want a heavy pen, check this one out. This is exclusive to us um, with like the, the silver finish and then the gunmetal hardware. LOL, I prefer Chicago too, no cap. Nice. You just want to get a rise out of me, huh, Sleazy? It's all good. It won't catch me lacking. Um, so this one actually has a unique filling system. So basically, it's a crescent pump. So you have to align this notch. So right now it's locked, right? You align this and then you you pump, submerge the nib into the inkwell like that. We got a little fuzzy on there. And then it actually has a bladder inside and it, it fills up, right? It's like a squeeze lever. Yeah, so they also have this one with rose gold trim. This pen is so sick. And the camera's not really picking up the detail of the guilloche work just because it's so reflective. But highly recommend if you make it to the store, ask to see this pen. It's the Conklin Crescent Filler. This pen is so fire. Limited to 898 pieces. I think that's across all the trims. Yeah, this pen's sweet. Comes in a nice gift, gift box as well. Okay, um, one more pen to show as an exclusive. How are we all doing? I know I'm kind of uh, going live for a long time, but we appreciate y'all staying in the call, checking out what's new. So this is gonna be an exclusive Mayora partner note. Comes in a really nice gift box. This one's really pretty. Um, this is a gift set, so it will also come with an ink which I kind of like, you know, if you want to write with the pen, it'll come with the ink bottle. You just get ready for class while watching. Well, I appreciate you tuning in. What kind of class you got? What subject? Hopefully something easy for you. And uh, I love Halo too. Halo as well. If you're talking about the video game and your name, Halo 3 was life changing. So this is the Mayora part note. An exclusive to us. Look how pretty that is. Got a, a all white resin cap with gold hardware. We've got a beautiful blue geometric design from the barrel that's carried on into the grip section. It's so, so fire. College algebra? Dang, I was hoping to be something better. I am not good at math. I definitely can say that math was not my strong suit. That's why I sell pens for a living. We got calculators here. Uh, these pens range. Um, welcome, by the way. These pens range anywhere from you know twenty five dollars all the way up to eight thousand. So this one is an exclusive Mayora. Same idea as that Joya I showed you. It has an adapter on the back of the converter, which is kind of like an extender. So if you didn't want to actually open the pen to access the converter, you can fill the pen up from back here. Just remove the blind cap. This pen, I believe, is about like six hundred dollars. Uh, it features a fourteen karat gold nib, so that's where a lot of the cost is coming in. Is this your company, or do you work as a salesman for someone else? This is my family shop, owned by my parents. My eldest brother and I work here, so um, I'm typically up front in the retail store. They're typically in back, so. My great grandfather started the shop in 1939. Been around quite some time. So hopefully you guys like this one. Let me know what you think about this. Weird question, what's your personal pen look, out, look like? I did a video not too long ago. If you scroll on our page, you can see a video saying like my personal pen collection. Uh, maybe I'll make a new one here, but I just did it a few weeks ago. I don't have as many pens as people think I would. Okay. Sorry, one more thing than the, actually like three more things. Most basic line in sales is selling me this pen. Yeah, so if you want me to sell you this pen, I'd just hand it to you and ask you to write your name, which you couldn't, because you need a pen. Um, we also sell luxury lighters too. This is from ST DuPont. Ooh. You hear that? 
That's got the perfect pink to it. Yeah, so for those of you who didn't know, we do sell lighters. Uh, this one's about 1500. This is the brand new blue carbon. Flame adjuster on the bottom. All new finish, all brand new finish just released. They got this one and then the fiery red. Um, we do sell lighters around like the $200 range too. This is like high end, for sure high end. ST DuPont is super well known in the lighter industry as being incredibly high quality. Right now the flame's probably a little too high. So I would definitely turn that down. Check these out. Big fan of these. They also make pens. Yeah, it's a sick lighter. This is one of my favorites now. Bet you all didn't even know we sold lighters. Um, this one actually, since I, I gassed it up, I filled it up. We have this uh, on our website listed as used, if you will, just because it is filled up. So we've got a nice promotion on this one in particular, which is in great condition, literally brand new. Just, I filled it up in store. How we all doing? Y'all still hanging in there okay? We've been live for like an hour now. Light it? All right, I'll light it one more time. Butane's expensive nowadays, folks. You know how, you know the deal with gas. Oops. There you go. We recommend using ST DuPont gas if you're gonna fill up your ST DuPont lighter. It's the best compatible gas, I would suggest. All right, let's see, where are we at? Let me start cleaning some stuff up. I'm pushing some stuff near the back of the table. Went over that, we went over that. Um, we just got in some new Retro 51s that just got brought up here. Uh, I don't wanna open these because they are sealed. So I've got photos ready to go on our website right here that I'll show you. Um, these are brand new. Are they, are they limited editions? I don't know if they're, oh, they are. Yeah, they are. So these are limited editions. I don't really have much info. Why two flames? So that's called the Line 2 lighter. That's just the design that they made. They also offer torch lighters and they also offer the Legrand lighter, which does a double flame and a torch. So. Um, if you go on our website, so it's gonna look something like this. Let me back this up a little bit. Sorry, I know you're not gonna get the full view. Maybe I can turn this or something. Actually, I got an idea, hold on. We're gonna take the phone out of the stand. Okay, so if you go on our website, just atlasstationers.com, you'll see that our site's incredibly user-friendly. Um, Basically our product selection is a lot of fine writing instruments, gift items, stationery, things like that. You can search via brand, which all the brands will pop up here in a second. You know, so if you like a certain brand, you just go ahead and find it, right? Um, we've also got new arrivals. A lot of people like to camp out the new arrivals tab because this is everything that's new. Um, everything that's new like within the past month. So a lot of what I just showed you is on here. Right, the Heinz pens. We've got some Bay News, Lamis, things like that. Uh, but the photos for these Rocketeer pens. So these are called the Retro 51 Rocketeer. This is what they're going to look like. Do we sell ink samples? We do not, but there's something that you can purchase that I'll show you right there that you would love. So, all right, here's the Bulldog. Really nice, nice pen. That's the Bulldog model. Maybe I will open these later to display. This is the Rocket Pack. Jeez, how many are there? This one is just called the Rocketeer. Oh, that one's fire. 
That one's fire. How much are these? 63 bucks. Um, flight artists. Yeah, these are cool. These are cool. And then first flight. That one's sweet. That's a comic book style, it looks like. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. Sorry, one last thing before the most expensive pen. I know I keep dragging you guys on. So, for those of you who want ink samples, check out the Diamond Ink Bank Calendar. It's this year's release, 25 brand new inks, 25 different doors, each is representative of a day. So on day one, wherever it is on here, you pop it open, you get an ink bottle. It's all new inks. It's a great way to sample what Diamond has to offer. These, I have a lot of shimmer and sheening inks included. So 100%, go check this out. $115, you get 26 or 25 different inks, including day 25, which is actually a 30 milliliter bottle of ink. It's awesome. Do you sell for brass Coeco for my EDC? Yeah, we sell Coeco. I don't know what your question's asking though. Um, you know, when I, when I refer to shimmer and sheen, I like your goal because we're gonna make it happen. Nice. I don't know what my goal is, but let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. So, you know, we also carry beautiful inks like this. So like, this is a shimmering ink. This is the Wearing Goal, I Am Cat, the Wearing Goal Wayfair, our exclusive 12th Night, I know for a fact these two are sold out, but we have more coming in. Go on our website, sign up for email notifications. These are super competitive inks. But we have another batch coming in. A watery star, half moon with dimmed light. These are great. And path. These are some fire inks, so highly recommend you check them out. Are you guys impressed? I feel like you should be impressed. These should be getting a lot more comments. I mean, look how impressive these inks are. We should be getting Wearing Gold back in stock this week. Thank you for the confirmation. All right, here we go. Last thing, and then I for sure got to get going because we went live for a lot longer than I was anticipating. This is the most expensive pen we have in the shop. Oh, Quaco has a brass pen that is good for everyday carry. Yeah, that's called the uh, the Quaco Sport. I think that's the one you're talking about. Maybe I'll make a video soon. We make videos of that pen like every couple months just because it's such a good one. This is the Dante Alighieri Paradiso. So this pen is unbelievable. And the, the inlaid portion is Montegrappite, which is a custom resin blend that only Montegrappa can use. The good news is they actually have an inner cap all the way through. So that means it will not scratch the grip section. It'll thread in perfectly, which is really nice. Um, you have the, the storyline of Dante and all the different layers. Oh my goodness, folks, we just, I just got a trade alert. I'm a big football guy. TJ Hawkinson just got traded from Detroit to the Vikings. That's crazy. Yeah, this is getting way out of hand how much this is. Um, these are actually angels, which I just found out. I mean, the detail is impeccable. These are actually angel wings all connected. Yeah, the Vikings did just get better. And I'm a huge Bears fan, so it's like it's kind of tough to see, but that's a great spot for TJ Hawkinson. I'm surprised that Detroit traded him to a team in the same division. Yeah, I literally just got the update. So great trade. I wonder what the Vikings gave up. They probably gave up like a second or third round pick would be my guess. But yeah, look at the detail on this pen. And yeah, Vikings are looking good. And here are the different planets. So this one is $7,500. This is definitely a very unique pen. Um, 
that requires you know a certain type of collector or somebody who's a big fan of Dante Alighieri. Uh, you got the limited edition number. Anytime we get limited editions, by the way, I mean, this one's an older limited edition, but any new Montegrappas, we get number seven out of the limited edition. They're kind enough to work with us. So we basically get number seven out of all of the numbers, which is awesome to see. This one's 76, I think, out of 333. Yeah, this is $7,500. 7,500 comes in great packaging, but we're running out of time here. So I'm not going to show Yeah All right folks, there you have it. I'm gonna flip the camera back to me to say my goodbyes. Thank you for tuning in this entire time It's been quite a riot. I'm gonna see if I can get this video posted on YouTube for a nice playback So all of you who are re-watching the playback. Thanks for your support. Go check us out on TikTok live if you want to participate in the actual live video in which we have live comments. It's fun to do. We're live multiple days a week. So yeah, awesome folks. Stay smooth. We'll talk to you soon, all right?